Hi, sweeties. Today I am going to demo the Crock Pot Express Crisp. It is a pressure cooker and air fryer combo. Let's take a look at all the features. If you want to see a side by side by side by side comparison with this Crock Pot, Crock Pot Express Crisp, the um, Ninja Foodie Deluxe, the Instant Pot Duo Crisp, and Emerald's Pressure Air Fryer, just click right there. I've got a video that shows you all the features, all of these next to each other. We cook this delicious braised pork in the pressure cooker and we use the air fryer lid. We'll show you all about it. Please subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me that thumbs up and let's get into it. This crock pot express crisp comes with a pressure cook lid, which is pretty standard, just like any other pressure cooker that you've ever used. It's the gasket around there and it has a aluminum cooking pot with an enamel nonstick coating. It's got presets so you can cook poultry beans. You've got settings like brown sear, saute, slow cook, simmer, and yogurt. So you can make yogurt in this machine. It's got the presets for meat stew, poultry, beans, soup, rice, and it has your temperature controls with the minus and plus and start and stop. Let's take a look at that air fry lid. It's got handles on the side and the fan and heating element is in the top covered by a grate. To attach it to the cooker, which is an eight quart cooker, you have to open up these flaps. One has a magnet inside to hold it securely in place. I'm going to demonstrate how the crock pot express crisp works by cooking a pork roast. So we'll start with the brown sear function and you can see we adjust the time with that plus and minus and press start and let it preheat. We're going to take this four pound pork picnic half and use a paring knife and just pierce it Come closer through making some holes through the skin and into the meat. And this is going to allow us to season all the way down into this big cut of meat. And it's going to let the heat come up through, get down into the meat as it's cooking, allowing it to cook even faster. And we're going to use some Goya Saison, sprinkle it all over and push it down into those holes that you made. And rub it all in. I'm gonna use two packets. Get that all down in there. And then I'm going to brown it. The crock pot express crisp is already heating. We're going to pour just a little bit of oil into the bottom of the nonstick cooking pot. And we're going to place that pork shoulder. There's plenty of room for that to get in there and brown. Let's turn it over. Look at that pretty brown color. Really nice. We're gonna brown it on all sides. So we'll let it go for another few minutes. Now we're gonna turn it one more time to get brown on that last side. Ooh, look at that, skin got nice and brown. And then we will add, while that's browning, some onions, a few cloves of smashed garlic, and a bay leaf. And 
a little tomato paste down in the bottom. Let's do two spoons. I'll put the ingredients and all the recipe and a link in the description box. Let that go for another few minutes. And then we'll add in our tomato sauce and chicken stock. When you're using these uh, pots with nonstick coatings, be sure you use utensils that have some kind of silicone covering because you don't want to use metal in there and scratch up the coating. Now we're going to add in tomato sauce and chicken stock. Then we're going to stop it and we'll put our pressure cook lid on. Make sure it is on seal. Let's cook it on meat stew and increase the time to one hour. And start. Our crock pot express crisp has finished cooking. It's switched to keep warm while well, it's finished pressure cooking. I'm going to let it naturally release for about 10 minutes and then I will release whatever steam is um, remaining and we'll continue with the dish. I'm going to make some roasted cabbage in the oven while this is cooking. Let me show you how I make it. Also some avocado oil on a foil lined sheet tray for easy cleanup. And then leave the core on. And we're going to cut this cabbage into slices. Then sprinkle both sides with salt, pepper, and more avocado oil. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil if you like. And we'll pop this in the oven at 400 for about 45 minutes. Well, that pressure is all released. It's really been, it's been depressurizing for 40 minutes because I got distracted doing something else. But that's okay. We'll see. Ooh, open that up. Take a look inside. It smells good. And we're going to add in a can of Great Northern beans that I drained and some roasted red peppers, some red wine vinegar, just to brighten things up again. I'm going to stir that around and now I am going to put on the air crisp lid because I want the top, I want to cook a little more from the top down and let it brown and get caramelized. With this Crock-Pot Express Crisp, you have to open these little flaps and then set the air crisp lid down on that. There's a little magnet there. Like that. And it's already on 15 minutes. You can raise the time with that. And uh, it's gonna keep warm, let's see. Press start.
You see, when you put that air crisp on, these lights light up power and heat. Now, if you want to check what's going on under the hood during cooking, if you lift the lid, it will stop. You can put it upside down like that. The timer will pause. And then we can pop that top back on. <laughs> and press start. All right. Says we're done, so let's take a look inside. Oh, yum. That looks really good. Let's bring this out. Try not to make too much of a mess. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to slice a piece off. It's well cooked in there. Let's put that with our cabbage, roast cabbage. Now if you want this tender enough to make like shredded or pulled pork, then you're gonna have to cook it, pressure cook it for 75 minutes. Right now it's tender but sliceable. There. Now we've got some of that sauce, the beans, roasted red peppers. Mm. That's a pot full of goodness right there. That vinegar at the end really brightens up the long pressure cooked flavor. And put a little dash of hot sauce on there. You can put some roasted red um, pepper flakes, some red pepper flakes in there if you want to put heat in the whole thing. But I'm just going to put a few splashes of hot sauce on mine, and that is the dish. Yum, that looks good. All done in that crock pot express crisp got that crisping lid going i think it worked pretty well you know i'm still a ninja foodie girl but i wanted to show you all the products that are out there and this does pretty good now with this you can't really adjust the temperature of the cooking lid you, well there's two temperatures this high and low and high can you get a shot close in there? So you can, the air crisp lid only has low and high. So you can't adjust the temperature, I like to say 350 degrees or 400 degrees. So that's something to keep in mind. All right. Let's stop that, we're not cooking anything. And that's it. Give me that thumbs up, hit those notification bells for more product reviews, recipes, and click on my face to subscribe.